I was shaking like booty me. <laughs> the adrenaline hit before I got that shot. Show y'all something y'all didn't know. You know, you get a nice car. You don't want to mess up the front. You know, that's nice. Check out this hybrid car right here on the back. Check that out, baby. Bourbon barrel calls. Even on the backside. Then chasing after them for like an episode of Cops. You know what I mean? The bad guy's trying to get away. Not from overtime, no. We got them. Hey, what's going on? If you found this video, you've come over here from the Turkey TKO episode. This is something new that we're kind of going through and trying out, but it's going to be an addition to the episode, more of a behind the scenes and some of the gear and the product that was used in that episode. So, to kick off, we've got the new Hoyt RX-8. Uh, this bow was used. This has got the HHA Tetra sight and their new color wheel. It's kind of neat, a little accent color right there. Um, one of the things I'm really digging this year, some of the accessories from Hoyt, you know, they have this bipod, which is awesome for turkey hunting or anytime you're hunting in the blind, because basically you can just set it down on the ground and you're not having to lean your bow like up against the blind and that way you can have an arrow knocked in there. Um, brand new this year, Luminoc came out with red finally. Uh, I like red lighted knocks and they didn't have red before, but they've got red now, so that's super cool. Uh, but this is the Easton FMJs. Um, these are five millimeter, so my arrow setup's 515 grain, but I've got the new hit collar system. And then also I have the sever broadheads. So that's what I ran this year during turkey season and I'll be running that the rest of the year. So that's basically my setup here, you know, on the bow side of things. Now on the, let me get this out of the way. On the shotgun side, Winchester is a new partner for this year. Um, they sent me the SX4. Um, really awesome shotgun, 12 gauge that I really like. I actually drilled and tapped this one myself and put the loophole Delta Point Pro red dot on here. Now, because it did raise the height just a little bit, I actually did a little makeshift um, cheek weld to raise this a little bit, a little riser. I actually used a pull noodle, cut a section of a pull noodle and just kind of shave it out, make it more of a taco kind of a shape let it slide over top. And this is just athletic wrap um, that's over top of it, but works out really nice. I use the Carlson XR choke tube. So this is a choke tube that was actually designed to work with the Winchester uh, Longbeard XR ammo. So these are the shells. It's a five shot shell, uh, three inches is what I use. And these are one and three quarter ounce. So these things are really awesome. They perform flawlessly. Uh, another thing on the bow, uh, B3 Archery. It's a made in the USA company. And this is the Hawk, which is a wrist release that I really like. But one change they made this year is an auto return hook um, on it. You don't have to reset it. So once you let go, it's already reset again for you. You don't have to push that. Some of them, you actually have to push that lock to set it back in place. Um, Tacticam Reveal is a new company that came on board this year. So in the episode, all of that footage that's down on the ground, that's static and it's showing those turkeys as they're coming in on the decoys. This is actually just a Tacticam set to video mode and just had a small tripod on the ground. Kind of captures another cool angle and it's something pretty neat that we've been playing around with. So a lot of different uses for the Tacticam Reveals. Also, as far as meat processing goes, um, Revo knives. So this is the RS1. This is a knife that was used to breast things out once I got back home. And then in the field, I like running the Ness, which is a folder. That's my favorite EDC that they have. Um, but we'll put some stuff in the description, some codes to save some money on a lot of these different products that we're working with this year and things like that. Of course, the birds went into the grizzly cooler and then went underneath the diamondback cover, which is where all the turkey gear, everything that you see was underneath the diamondback cover and it stays there throughout the whole duration of turkey season. Um, that's about it. And of course, Under Armour camo, 
you know, different layering systems. We had some cold mornings that had hot afternoons and things like that. So um, ran the Hubbard Dawn boots and a new Raider boot that's actually coming out this fall. Ran that as well. But um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, let me know what you think. Um, maybe some of the in-depth side of this, showing some of the products and some of the background. And, you know, we don't really get a chance in the episode, you know, I don't come up on target and say, man, this Winchester SX4 shotgun sure is nice. So sometimes you might not, when you're watching the episode, you might not get to catch all of the products or makes or models and, you know, things like that. So this is something that we're going to try to start building on this year and each episode just kind of keep expanding on and see if we can show more behind the scenes of some of these episodes and kind of what goes in that maybe didn't quite make the episode, but, you know, we'll have a place for it here. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.